What's up guys? I am back today with another student interview. Today I'm with my man Kurt. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make my window small so you guys can can watch him most of this video. Um, but what's up man? How are you? I'm doing great. Just uh, in the middle of it. In the middle of the day of calls. I love it. So we're going to basically, uh, guys, like we don't record anything before these. Like these are very raw. Um, so this is our first conversation and I want to all be authentic and, and organic. Um, Kurt, we're just going to talk about, like I said, your journey from where you were to where you are now. Um, right. Sort of, obviously, you're in Closer Cartel, what your experience with that was. Um, and then maybe after talking about your experience, maybe highlight a couple points that you think would help other people looking to get mm -hmm. into high ticket sales or, or something mm -hmm. similar. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. So, awesome. So let's start off with, with obviously where were you before, and yours is a bit unique. Where were you before getting into sales and like what kind of piqued your interest of like, oh, maybe I should get into this thing called, called sales? Yeah. I mean, long story short, I mean, the 2020 and everything with regard to the pandemic sort of disrupted my life pretty significantly. I was a, a full-time actor. I was working on cruise ships and um, I was loving it, but when the pandemic hit, it, all my work just went away instantly. And I realized like, oh, maybe it's time to reevaluate what I actually want to do for a career going forward because mm -hmm. acting is fantastic, but there is a glass ceiling. Um, the money is sort of limited uh, in terms of what you can make. And so I was like, ah, well, maybe I can figure out something to do that's, you know, makes more money. So I got a, a job immediately afterwards. That was just like a marketing job that I liked and I was doing it, but I wasn't making a lot of money, but it was a job in that time of disruption. It was like, I'm employed. So that's great. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I realized like I needed to make more and more money. So I got, that's when I got involved in money Twitter and there's like, everyone's talking about the new way. And like, I was like, well, maybe it's copywriting. Maybe it's flipping. Maybe it's all this blah, blah, blah. And nothing really felt right. Mm -hmm. Then I saw, I came across Luke, your content one day. I don't know where I came across it, but. I heard high ticket sales and I was like, what is that? And so I went on the website and I watched your VSL and I was like, oh, this makes perfect sense based on what I've been doing before. Mm -hmm. It's you're talking to people, you're interacting with people. Um, and you know, I didn't know anything about it at the time, but I just knew I could do it. And so I think I DM'd you and I was, I asked you a couple questions and you were just like, yeah, just jump in bro. And that's when I got into closer cartel and, um, yeah, that's sort of my journey to Closer Cartel. It just made sense mm. because it was instead of building these huge infrastructures of like drop shipping industries and, mar and like the agency sphere with all these moving parts, it's like high ticket sales, like you find an offer, you learn the techniques and you talk to people. It was, very, it was very simple to me. Yeah. And, and that's yeah. awesome. And I mean, your, your background is very applicable as well. Like you have a great yeah. uh, control of like your, your, I don't know if you'd say voice, but like you speak very well, uh, mm -hmm. you can, can kind of control that stuff well, you know what I mean? Which is, which yeah. is a good fit. So yeah. you found the Twitter, um, which I, it's funny how many people find like Twitter and then they're like, oh, I'm in this new little world. And then life changes pretty, pretty quickly from that. Yeah. Um, yeah. What made you decide to get into Closer Cartel opposed to just like YouTubing high ticket sales and learning sales or whatever? Uh, it was the structure of it. Well, a couple things. I mean, it was the structure. First of all, you know, you can YouTube high ticket sales and you can find information, mm -hmm. but eh, YouTube content is always going to not be the full thing. It's always going to be something that leads to something else. Mm -hmm. You know, very few people are giving you every single thing on YouTube alone for free. Mm -hmm. So I knew that going in, I was like, well, I can find stuff on sales, but if I'm going to really learn it, you got to invest some money into a program because the returns can be so great that it's going to be worth the investment. Mm. So that's kind of why I decided to do it because I was like, well, you know, it's going to be an investment. And I chose closer cartel over other sales programs because first of all, Luke, you're very persuasive. It was very organized. It all looked very good and it seemed real. Mm. It, it didn't seem like a scam. And so I was like, Oh, this feels like a real dude who's, putting out information. But the, also the thing um, was the, the weekly sales calls or the bi-weekly sales calls, the coach, like the coaching calls mm -hmm. and the, uh, the community 
knowing that like when I was on the sales call, um, knowing that there was a community in Slack, that it was very supportive and you could talk through things with people and there were people on the same journey as you mm-hmm. and they were doing uh, mock calls and stuff like that. That is what sold me. I was like, oh, I'm not alone. Yeah, because I mean, uh, high ticket sales can get kind of lonely, right? Like you're, you're in front of a you're computer a all day. You don't really, I mean, you have a team, you're offer, but you don't want to like talk to those people all day, you know? <laughs> it's like, yeah. it's like, and you're not in an office sometimes, you know? Yeah. Nowadays we're all remote. And so, like, I just, you're sitting in an office all day. And even if your boss isn't in the same state or whatever, you're like, well, I'm just by myself. So it is yeah. nice to, or if you have, I mean, because you're going to have good days and bad days. Mm-hmm. There's some days that are going to suck. And you're like, man, I just got my face beaten in today. And it's nice to know that you can go and be like, hey, man, me too. And then you talk through it. <laughs> yeah. And then you, and you feel like you're, you're a part of something. No, 100%. And, and that's honestly, it's one of my favorite parts of what we have is, is you guys. Like the commu- you're very active too, um, which I love. So for those of you like watching this video and you're probably like, like, okay, what's he talking about? So we have a platform. We have a new platform, by the way. If you hopped on school, not yet. Oh, no. bro, you got to go look at it. It's it's cool. Okay. Um, okay. We have we have a platform basically that our whole community is active on, because um, like Kurt said, it gets lonely sometimes. Um, you're going to succeed a lot faster if you have other people in the same journey as you, through knowledge, through through practice with each other, through um, just support. Like it's a it's a massively valuable thing. So, you that's obviously why you got in. Um, mm-hmm. once you got in, like how long did it take you to, to start making money and, and how did you get onto an offer and things like that? Yeah. Well, I got in, I think late August, early September. Mm-hmm. And I, there was so much information at first that I wanted to, I took my time a little bit cause I was like, I need to take some time cause I had a full-time job too. And I only had so much time to, to devote to learning this um, a day. And so I was like, well, I'm going to take my time and make sure I understand the information before I actually get an offer mm-hmm. because it's just, it's just realistic. Like, I'm not going to jump on a high ticket offer and like not know the process. Yeah. So, um, it took me a couple months to like get comfortable. Um, maybe I was moving a little slower than I thought cause I was a little trepidatious cause like this is new, but once I felt comfortable, um, and really pushed to get into an offer mm-hmm. with the resources that y'all provide inside um closer cartel i think i was on an offer in like a week and a half two weeks and what i did i just went on the the uh the the resources that you recommended like the the facebook groups and Mm. i literally any offer that seemed remotely legitimate i just sent them a video message and i kind of made a quick 20 second pitch of who i am and why you should give me a shot it's and I think idea. I messaged some other people in the or, in the group and was like, "Hey, how did you do it?" Because mm-hmm. you know, some people they they'll post their wins like, "Hey, I just got an offer," and I would DM them and be like, "How did you do it?" And they say, "Oh, I just did this." And there was someone who suggested a video message, and I was like, "Oh, that makes more sense." Mm-hmm. And the offer that I got hired on, he knew that it was my first sales job, but he was like, "I liked you on video, and you presented yourself well, and so that's why I chose you, despite no sales experience, over other people who just texted me over you know words." Yeah. No, that's awesome. And that's a big thing too. Like obviously since you got in, we changed things up. Now Closer Cartel only helps experienced people. And then Mm -hmm. our entry level program sales accelerator is, is what you would have gotten into at the time before Mm -hmm. we switched things. Mm -hmm. But dude, like even if you don't have experience, like I didn't have experience and I was working with like multimillionaires selling really expensive offers. You did the same thing. That's what I tell people is it's kind of a, like a want to slash make it happen thing. It doesn't really matter. You just got to know your yeah. stuff, obviously learn the skill um, and present yourself well. And all you need is one offer. So you got onto an offer. Was that the one you stayed on or did you switch a couple? No, I stayed on it. Um, I stayed on it because I liked the the founder of the company. We had a couple interviews and when he sh- gave me all the materials to learn, I started learning and I was like, oh, this is real. This could be really great. Yeah. I'm actually working up public relations offer right now, selling public relations packages. Okay. And it made sense to me because of my prior experience in the entertainment industry. Like it's, you know, it's, it's status, it's cloud, it's, it's the, the, the red carpet stuff. And I was like, Oh, I, I get that. It's kind of what I was doing. Yeah. And so I, I can reverse engineer that. Um, but no, that was my first offer. And yeah, it was, it's a, it was, a, we have low ticket and high ticket offers. So that's part of the challenge is like, it's not just one offer. Like mm-hmm. we have, countless services 
And so that's been the, the, that was a learning curve of figuring out, well, like I could sell a $1,500 offer or I could sell a hundred thousand dollar offer. Mm. And so like knowing which one and how to pitch different ways and the different personality types that are attracted that to different That is a lot more of. sophisticated because at that point you're more of a shop and you kind of pick like, Hey, this is what's best for you. This is what's best yeah. instead of like, this is what we have. It's, yeah. I'm not going to lie and say it hasn't been hard yeah. to get used to, but you know, I've, I'm still, I'm still learning, man. I had, had a great month last month and this month is going, going pretty well, but I, I, I know that it's going to take me a couple more months to really like internalize it, like in my DNA, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and that's just how it is. You know, like everybody wants success so fast. Like you can get on an offer in a month. You can learn, honestly, you could learn sales in I would say like 90 days and be pretty adequate, but to yeah. really, really like master it, you're not going to do it overnight. Like it, no. I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell people like, Oh yeah, dude, just get on an offer and you're going to make like millions of dollars. Like it's, it's going to take a little bit of time, but so you're, you're on an offer that you stayed with, which is awesome. So that means your first <laughs> offer was a good offer. It wasn't some scammy, whatever. Um, yeah. You don't have to tell us the company name or anything, but like what's the Fine. offer price or prices? Because you have multiple. Well, it depends on, we have PR packages that typically are in the low five figures. It's mm -hmm. kind of where they start, but they go all the way up to six figures. And so it's, it's basically anybody who wants to be a celebrity in six months. Mm -hmm. Like I worked with a, a person and they were going to be on a reality TV show and they were like, I need to completely rebrand myself in the media. So, and I have the money, mm -hmm. so let's go. And so they went for the six figure offer. Um, oh, so in closed, some people, I remember some, you closed a hundred thousand dollar offer, didn't you? Yeah. One call close. hundred thousand dollar offer. Man. I was like, I was, I didn't believe it at first because you, you never know. You never know. Yeah. You never know how much money people have or what they're willing to do. And so you're giving your pitch and you're doing your thing. And all of a sudden they're like, you know what? I love it. Let's go. And you're like, oh, okay. Well, I guess we're shifting gears here. That is awesome. Um, how many you know, weeks it, in were you? Pardon me? How many weeks in were you into that offer to close a $100,000 deal? Uh, less than a month. That's crazy. Less than a month. That's I mean, crazy. I mean, I, it's not to not to say I, I definitely closed that offer let me be clear i definitely i could have not closed that offer yeah but she was someone she'd done her homework she knew how much it was going to cost mm -hmm. and we vibed so i definitely could have screwed that deal up but it's the equivalent of of like a home run derby like in a home run derby the pitches are a little easier mm -hmm. it's not a it's not a pitcher trying to throw a 100 mile hour fastball it's like they're kind of like here you go. But that's why you're, you're a closer. Speak. You're not, you're not a right. salesperson. That's why you're a closer. Yeah. All you got to do right. is close the deal. You're not going out and selling, you know? So, right, exactly. so you did yeah. exactly what you should do. And that means well, you're on a good offer. Do. Yeah. 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 And it was, it was incredible. And when I, when I figured, when I felt that I was like, God, if I can, if I can do this when I'm new, yeah. <laughs> imagine what I'll be able to do when, when I know what I'm doing all the time. And that was just the potential. And, you know, people, anybody watching this, man, it's like, sometimes you're not, sometimes life is unclear. You know, when you're trying to find something new, mm -hmm. the path forward isn't very clear. And so you're being very trepidatious, but I've found that like with this kind of thing, when I, when I did that and saw the potential, the path forward was very clear all of a sudden I was like, oh, well now I have to sprint down this path. That's clear. Cause I don't know when it's going to be unclear again. Yeah. And it's just, it's like a, it's a, it's not a magic pill per se, but it's a path to a life that I've never lived before. It's so, it's so straightforward. And eventually you'll hit a point, And I tell everybody this, like I genuinely think this sort of sales is your best bet to start off. Eventually you might want to make millions a year. It's going to be a little hard maybe as a closer to do that, but mm -hmm. with what you're doing and once if you sell something, you become the most knowledgeable person of that product, of that market, of that offer, which is the same thing as owning the business. So mm. your journey, like yourself, here in a couple of years, you could probably work your way up in this company or start your own PR company, um, and then you can do whatever you want. But that wouldn't have started unless you got into the sales and, and learned that aspect right. of it. Right. No, absolutely, man. And no, it's um, there. We just brought on a new guy and he's actually he has a lot of experience in sales and he's coming on more as like he's a closer and a sales manager type too. And we've had conversations and 
he was like, yeah, man, let's work as a team. Cause the more that, the more that we communicate. So we've got our own little network now. Cause we, there's not many closers in the company. There's like probably three or four mm-hmm. or maybe two or three even. And so, um, but no, yeah, you're right. It's like working together, building, cause I'm not going to do this forever, mm-hmm. but it's, it's a, it's a great first step. Hell yeah, it is. So what's your, on this um, offer, like what is your commission? 10%. Oh wow, so you made 10 grand on a phone call. Yeah. In your first month. (laughs) It was wild. It was wild. It was, yeah, I went, December 2021, I made about three, three, uh, three and a half K because I was doing my marketing job, which wasn't paying me very good. And I was doing some social media content stuff on the side. So I made 3.5 K. And then in January, 2021, I made 16 K. That's which was crazy. like, you know, I didn't believe it at first. Like I saw the, I saw it coming. I, I've never made that much money in one in one month before. Because yeah. as an actor, I think the most I've ever made was like seven point five in a month when I was working on the cruise ship, mm. which is great. It's like almost what it's almost what you would make on Broadway. But when I got a when I looked at my bank account one day and there was like seventeen grand in my bank account, I was like, oh wow. <laughs> and here's the thing: I also realized that that's not a lot of money. No, it's not. When you get to the level, because I didn't, I was, I was happy for myself. I was excited. I was proud of myself. But immediately I was like, okay, well, 30% is that taxes. That's that. Then you, and I'm like, okay, well, then I maxed up my IRA for 2021, the prior year. So like now I'm left with this and then I have to pay my credit card bills. Mm-hmm. And now I'm back to like 400 bucks. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. So there are levels to the game. There are levels to the game. Wait till you have a $100,000 a month and then you're like, Oh, this is not a lot of money at all. I feel like the more you make, it's, the smaller amount you think it is. Hey, I, man, boy, would that be a problem? I, I would. Love that. <laughs> You'll get there, yeah. dude. You'll get there. Can't wait. So you you did three and a half k the first month, sixteen k the second month, and then. Well, no, that wasn't my no, my first. Well, technically, my first month in the offer, I made seven hundred and seventy five dollars. Okay. Because I like I started the end of the month and I closed like one deal or something. Mm-hmm. But then in January, that's when I made the 16K. Like like, so last, made, like last January, like now it's February, like January last month. Yeah, like last month. Nice. Last month. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I mean, I will say that this month isn't as good as last month, mm-hmm. but like, whatever, you know, um, I'm still still at it, still hustling. It'll you ebb know. and flow too. Like you'll have, dude, yeah. you'll have some months um, where you'll make like 50 grand probably with this kind of offer, the way it sounds. And then you have some mm-hmm. months where you're probably going to make like, like 12, you know, like it'll, yeah. it'll ebb and flow, but your overall average of the year, you're probably going to make a couple hundred thousand. Um, yeah. from what you're saying. No, it's, that's, that's my goal. The thing that I found is that, you know, a lot of the, I mean, you, there's a, you, you teach a lot in closer cartel and it's very comprehensive, mm-hmm. but I found that when you get actually get on an offer, that's when you realize like, Oh, there's like every piece of information that you teach in close our cartel there's like 10 micro pieces that you don't that you won't actually learn until you're yeah. in an offer and you can't like teach rip- it that's my struggle is oh. i can't teach yeah. you guys that until you're in in the game you know yeah no it's like things like the art of following up and like the art of like knowing exactly when and how to communicate with someone mm-hmm. that's a different personality type and all that stuff it's it's wild and you have to have a lot of i will say you, you do have to have some grit because especially if you're new, it's very easy to get um, imposter syndrome and think like, "What am I do? What am I doing here? Like, what is this?" You know. But a hundred percent. That's yeah. that's amazing, dude. I'm I'm so happy for you. Um, we're not gonna make this super long, but if you had to I'm, say, like, like you're obviously this video is gonna be put out on YouTube, Instagram, whatever, mm-hmm. and and people that are not in sales or that are in sales but not this kind of sales are gonna see this and they're gonna think. Um, a few things, right? If you had to tell something directly to those people, what would that be? Um, I would say that you have to choose, you have to decide what kind of what kind of lifestyle is best for you. The thing about sales is that is the it's the like aside from being like a full blown entrepreneur that owns a business, mm-hmm. it is one of the most beautiful things you can experience in terms of like understanding what you're really made of and your true potential for accountability and ownership of your actions. Mm -hmm. Because Closer Cartel is fantastic. It is not a magic pill. You have to put in the work. You have to take the information and you have to devote yourself to it. 
And whether or not you're capable of doing that is based on your efforts. And that's so I would say, I would say, if you honestly feel that, because I mean, look, I made 16K my first month. It's possible. Mm-hmm. It's absolutely possible. Um, but you just have to decide for yourself, are you willing to fight for it? Because it's not always going to be easy. It's not all, it's not all, you know, champagne and palm trees, man. Like <laughs> it's, it takes some time and it takes some grit. So if yeah. you're, if you're up to the challenge, it will pay off more than you could ever imagine. I love that. I like that better than like a, like a rah, rah, like, oh, you can do it. Like, I like that a lot. Cause it's a, you can. It's a 50, 50 You can, thing. you can do it. And you also cannot do it if you don't want to. Yeah. A hundred percent. You know? Like there's yeah. in, in any, and that's a challenge that I have as like a, like owning an education company is I yeah. want everyone to succeed, but I cannot force people to do things like the, mm-hmm. the horse, the water thing. Like it's so true. Mm-hmm. I could show yeah. you guys everything that I know, but if you don't go do it or you don't implement it or you don't try, like, dude, what do you think is going to happen? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And then you're going to, you're going to be blaming someone else besides yourself. And then you ask for a refund and, and then we go down that road. But dude, um, I'm so proud of you. Like I remember when we first spoke and I, th- was I the one that like closed you? Cause I feel like, no, uh, no, no, I think I, I spoke with Colby. Colby. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Because I remember our, yeah. our DMs on Instagram or uh, Twitter mm-hmm. at first. Yeah, I mean, you definitely you definitely got me in the call, one hundred percent. Yeah. Because I was asking you about like the time, like the time frame of like, well, can you take time off and blah blah blah? Because to do other things, and you're like, yeah, it's sales. You you want to if you're on an offer and you can work that out with your boss. Like, yeah, you can take some time off, you go do something else, and come back to it. I was like, oh, and that that's when I was like, oh, that's great. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome, like that. dude. Well, I don't want to take too much of your time, and, and obviously we don't want to drag this out too much. But um, no dude, I'm proud of you. That's that's freaking awesome. Let's get like a 30k month and then aim for 50, um, which I have no doubt, especially with that kind of offer. Like, yeah, no, it's possible. Yeah, that's it's very possible. possible. But if you need yeah. anything, let me know. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, congrats to this guy. Like, that's that's freaking amazing. Like, you're the you're the ideal sort of like uh, success story that I could wish for. Is like, mm. oh, I took my time, I learned it, and then first month made 16K. Like, that's awesome. So, uh, thank you, bro. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Okay, guys, I'll see you later. Peace.